ISIS its whole entire life? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Seriously. Well, have a listen for yourself. You tell the story about how you tried to find out what the what they call the Mossad when they deal with uh, publicly? I thought, a, I thought it was a reasonable question, but the trouble is uh, you can't pick up the phone book. There's no uh, Langley in, the, in Israel that you can look up you know, CIA, or in our case, uh, the Mossad. We thought we should ask, what shall we call it in English? You can translate the Hebrew words, as I said, Mossad is institute. But when they write a letter to their friends in the CIA or the British intelligence, what do they call themselves? It took a while. Uh, it was a matter of asking the prime minister's spokesman. The best you could do, because officially uh, the Mossad is under the prime minister's office. And uh, I think he sort of wondered why you want to know and all that, so we explained. And he came up with uh, the Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. I mean, if it were to have initials, it would be ISIS. Just simple words like that. Interestingly enough, a kind of a British model. The British don't really like the names MI5 and MI6. For Did you get that? ISIS. I-S-I-S. -I -S, Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. You fools. What? Now you're going to tell me that this al-Baghdadi guy is an Arab leader of a caliphate? <sighs> Come on. I'm sorry, but just sit down and shut your mouth because you already know where I'm going to go with this. Yes, he is Jewish and his name is Simon Elliot. Edward Snowden has already released documents proving that and a French newspaper has already reported on this. But your Jewish masters in the U.S. especially, your terrorist senator John McCain will not allow it to be publicized. And here is the same Jewish terrorist, Simon Elliott, masquerading as a leader of the Islamic Caliphate. And here he is hanging out with your senator, John McCain, orchestrating and funding the new terrorist group. This is all nothing but a charade. And do not think for a minute this is just an isolated incident. They have been doing this for a long, long time. It is time to round up and arrest the majority of U.S. congressmen, senators, politicians, bankers, Wall Street executives, and corporate leaders because they are all guilty of treason. And in this next clip, I will show how the majority of the quote-unquote Muslim terrorist leaders are actually Jewish and are masquerading as leaders of some sort of radical group only to sell you the propaganda right here in the media in the United States. Adam Gadan, the so-called American Al-Qaeda who uh, proclaimed himself the media maven, if you will, for Al-Qaeda and was uh, helping to produce a lot of these so-called Al-Qaeda videos that were all over the internet that made Al-Qaeda look really bad and made the Muslims look bad. Should you fail to comply in full, we will deem it sufficient justification to continue to fight and kill Americans. Come to find out, Adam Gadon's real name was Adam Perlman. And not only was he, in fact, Jewish, he was the grandson of a member of the board of the Anti-Defamation League. And if you've been following the history of the Anti-Defamation League, you will find out they've been very much involved in covertly supporting a lot of these so-called American Nazi movements. In fact, uh, all the way back, just about the time of World War II, there was this scandal where the head of the American Nazi party which had a total membership of like six and yet they were getting all this this press um, was arrested for embezzling from his sponsors which turned out to be the ADL so that kind of blew up in their faces so anyway we have Adam Perlman and he's been going around saying I'm Al-Qaeda I'm Al-Qaeda see I got a turban on my head I'm a terrible Muslim gotta hate me gotta be afraid of me and of course everybody's laughing at him now because we all know who he is okay so they have brought in the understudy, and there is a new American Al-Qaeda named Yosef Al-Khattab. Ooh, big scary name, and they've got a picture of him out there where he's holding all these guns and knives, and he's dressed up like a wannabe Rambo, and he's scowling at the camera, and he supposedly has this website with things in it, like pictures of the Statue of Liberty with an axe buried in the back of the head. I mean, very heavy-handed, very over-the-top. There was also a link to a puppet show mocking Danny Pearl's beheading. Take a look. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's awful. You know, just looking more like a, a movie uh, prop than, uh, than anything else here. So, uh, 
As it turns out, this is another fake. His real name is Joseph Cohen. He's a 39-year-old New York City taxi driver, as you mentioned. He, he, he uh, called himself Yusuf al qadar but he was born Joseph Cohen here in America. He is a Jew. And he is another manufactured front to try and convince Americans that Al-Qaeda is actually here in the United States. And this is why we've got to be doing this, uh, doing surveillance on the American people and reading their email and listening to their phone calls and all this stuff, because you never know when we're going to get into a situation uh, with the American Al-Qaeda. And it's all a front. It's a fake. He's up there. He, he's, he's there to try and create an enemy that doesn't really exist in order to justify the totalitarian treatment of the American people and to encourage us to go and attack them before they kill us. They're already here on the home front. We've got to go bomb those darn, those gosh darn Muslims because they're, they're infiltrating America and they're, 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 they're ripping tags off of couch cushions and they're causing global warming and we've got to go in the... It's nonsense. It's all war propaganda. You guys need to listen to me very, very carefully, especially to the American audience. Your country is under attack, and it is not under attack.